In last session, we talked about the concepts of controlled vocabularies in general. In this video, we're going to talk about some specific controlled vocabularies or sets of authorized terms that you might be using when you do authority work. And you'll have the chance to explore some of these vocabularies further in your assignment for this week. For most of your traditional mark-based cataloging work, um, you will most likely be using the Library of Congress authorities. Many, many libraries use the name headings in the authority file as well as the Library of Congress subject headings. This is available for free online at authorities.loc.gov. More specifically, within the Library of Congress authorities is the Library of Congress subject headings. This deals, as you can probably guess, with subject terms. And so when you go to that authorities.loc.gov and do a search, you can choose subject authority headings, the first um, option from that menu there of search type, and that will let you search the subject headings. While we're speaking of subject headings, there is an alternate set of vocabulary of subject headings, which smaller libraries sometimes use, as is called the Sears subject headings. Um, this, unlike all everything else we're talking about in this video, is not a freely available product. It is available both in print and as an online database through EBSCOhost, so if you want to explore that further, it is a product you have to pay for. Mostly so far we've been talking about vocabularies that apply to um, traditional mark-based uh, library cataloging. Um, there are a couple other of controlled vocabularies that are used more for perhaps collections of digital items or visual materials. Um, one of these is again from the Library of Congress, the Thesaurus for Graphic Materials. You might hear it abbreviated TGM. And that is available at that URL there. And another more specialized vocabulary is the Art and Architecture Thesaurus. This is also freely available online at the URL you see on your screen. So just I just wanted to kind of familiarize you with the fact that there are many different sources of authorized terms out there, um, at least for subject terms and genre terms. For names, whether it's personal names or corporate names, most people use the Library of Congress authorities, but there are a wide variety of controlled vocabularies out there. 